Aye, aye, here we are. Blank canvas tonight. So, what we're gonna do tonight is a little different than usual. I have been looking at some of my painting books and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna use as much color as I usually do. <clears throat> There's something about um, being uh, minimal. You know, I tell you what, I use the dark greens. I use all that stuff. I am just all over the place uh, with the colors and everything. Ooh, we're running out on this one. Woohoo! You know, how do you shake a paint can down to the last minute without getting all the paint all over the place, huh? You just have to be really careful, make sure that lid is tight. And um, let me get the mail out of the way here today. And here's, we're gonna do two different, we're doing white and two kinds of gray. We're doing a dark blue gray and we're doing regular gray. And um, boy, that Walmart paint is really liquidy. We probably won't be buying much of that anymore. I like the way, you know, it's, it's cheap and inexpensive and all that, uh, but it does have issues when it comes to staying where you put it. All right. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you all for taking the time out of your life to share with this life and this canvas and all the things that we're going to do together. Yipper. We have got a lot happening. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the white just to get it to spread out a little quicker and uh, get moving along. I've been working on uh, and reading up on getting the acrylic paint to look a little bit more like oil paint because you know how Bob can just blend in those clouds so beautiful and the mountains and the clouds and everything and that's very difficult to do with acrylic. I'm, I'm not sure how it all, it just has something to do with how it dries, how it's molecular, how if you don't blend it within the first 30 seconds, it starts to bunch up. Uh, latex acrylic paint dries really fast and it does not like you if you are taking too long. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to dab a little bit of the gray here, of one one color gray, and then we're going to dab the other color of gray right here, and then we're going to go for the third color of gray right here, like that. Uh, then I'm going to take all three grays and kind of mix them together with my brush so that my brush doesn't have one more or another on there. And I'm going to rinse it a little bit and not get my phone wet. Okay. Because I want kind of a clean brush, but I have to keep using the white as well. So we're going to do that. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that. And we're gonna hit the refrigerator, too. <laughs> All right. I hear some wind blowing. That must be a, another video. All right, so. There's our dark. There's our other gray right there. And then, oh, let me turn this so you can, there you go. Now you can see better. Like that. Beautiful. Everyone make a 
make sure that you have your phone, your your phones set to like um, the dark mode at night because it does help you to go to sleep better after your after you're watching something on your phone. Yeah. What it means is Who the was daytime talking about mode. That? The daytime mode um, is um, the daytime mode is is like a white screen in the background with black black words, you know. And the nighttime mode is a black screen in the background with white letters. And it actually helps you to be able to go back and rest after you've done that. They also have a thing on, um, like, I know on, like, um, like if you're reading a document or whatever during the day, they also have, like, a mode where you can... Oh, yeah, and you got to do that blue light thing, too, turn it too to don't yellow you? yellow instead of the blue light. Mm -hmm. and stuff that a lot of people a lot of people read that way so that it doesn't hurt their eyes the blue light isn't like overpowering for them still overstimulating for them and stuff yeah so now i'm taking the um some brown and some white and uh, some green and i am making some weeds and some grass here like that and then let's see i'm going to is that a pretty much a good good background I think that's the way I want it to be. I'm going to put something right there and right there and right there. Then I'm going to do a little, a little dock kind of a thing. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty Dahadi. Said, Scotty's in. He Hi. Said, that was my sneeze all the way from Massachusetts. LOL. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Joy's got a big one, too. I can she make can make jump. me jump. I can make him jump when I sneeze. So, if I don't catch the inhale, she'll make me jump. Hmm. All right. So, we're gonna... Hi, Annette. Hi, Nancy, our treasured home. Now I need I need some gold here. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's my favorite brush? Where are you, baby? There you are. Okay. And of course, this this grass, this this under here is gonna be a little darker because it's under the under the under the bridge. We're thinking about. I'm thinking about anyway. Um, maybe we'll go back to Dollywood um, on the weekend because it just opened, you know, and um, we were only there for a short time. We did a walk around, but we were only there for a short time because um, Don had to work for our friends that day um, up in Maryville, Tennessee. So that was a little drive over there and back. Mm -hmm. so, um, so we, our day was really short for that reason. He needed to go help them. So even Donnie did try some food. Yeah, what did I have, huh? You know, I can't really try the food yet, though. That's a thing. Because mm -hmm. I'm doing that temporary carnivore thing. Yeah, maybe we'll wait. 
Uh, she doesn't want to go to Dollywood because she can't have anything to eat. Yeah, uh, I tell you, it's tempting over there. He'll eat in front of me. He don't care. I don't care. <laughs> he'll eat in front of me. I'll eat right there. He'll buy treats and eat right in front of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, he's a I'm the bad guy. He's a, food, he's a foodie, and he just, when it comes to food, that's just it. He just has to have his treats. And, and, you know, somebody that watched last week, you saw my, you heard my testimony about where, how, you know, my past and all that, why I'm a foodie. And, um, not a whole lot I can do about it, really. I just pray and I come against this fear of hunger and, and I live the best I can. He did try, now the other day, he did try to eat something without me knowing it, <laughs> but I, 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 I figured it out because when, um, I, I, when I went, he went and he bought himself one of those small things of ice cream, you know, pint, it's a pint, and when I, and I was sitting here working on the computer on the sofa, when I went to bed, there was an empty container on the bed. And I said, and a, and a lid. And I go, oh, you bought yourself some ice cream, huh? He said, yeah. <laughs> he ate the whole thing. <laughs> Bad dog. Jimmy said every time he eats food down here, he gains weight. That's a good memory. That's called memory weight. <laughs> Scotty said he's on his eighth month out of work due to injury with no return back soon, soon as uh, soon yet he's still in physical therapy for one thing and then soon he'll be in physical therapy for another thing thank you Jesus for Scotty's recovery thank you Jesus yeah, right now I'm eating, um, I'm eating um, meats and proteins and stuff like that. Rhonda said you're just eating meat, yeah. And, but it's only temporary because I'm doing it as a cleanse because I can tell my, um, like, the thing that I crave is fruit, fresh fruit, you know, some kind of fruit. And... Um, So, I'd like to do, like, meat and fruit. Now, as soon as, as, soon as this dries, I'll put my, my steaks down in the water and down into the weeds. But if I do it now, it's too wet. Because my birthday's coming up in, um, is, is, is April the 2nd. It's early April. So, when I looked at the carnivore thing I thought well I could maybe do it for three weeks and see you know how it does and then um, and then celebrate my birthday <laughs> Yay. Uh, and I did and I went out and and it, it, if any of you saw my video today that I put out um, we went we went out with our friends um, um, one ring a dinghy and cousin Eddie and um, to the uh, Pigeon Forge Wood Grill Buffet and I showed the full buffet in that video so that if anybody wants to know if that video I mean if that restaurant is worth it they can look and see all the foods I just showed all the foods you know and um, and it's like um, Amazing. There's just such a variety of foods there. A lot. And it, they're really cooks, too. They're not just... They're actually cooking that food. They're just not heating stuff up that comes in a can. And it's not processed. And you just feel like there's more nutrition than some other places that are just generic. It's not generic. Very, very good. Yeah, it does seem like it's fresh cooked and more so than other buffets that we've been to and there's just such a 
huge variety of stuff there, but it, you can see it in the video. We don't have to tell right. you all the stuff that it has, but the thing of it is, is like you can eat, Donnie ate completely different than I did, and you can eat a full carnivore on that, at that buffet. You can just eat completely carnivore there, you know, without having anything else, and that's what I did. I just cho chose <laughs> all kinds of meats to eat. <laughs> yeah, that was so sweet. Cousin Eddie took us out to eat, and... We really appreciated that. Him gain weight. It was definitely wonderful to do. You know, when I um, when I went to a, um, a a doctor for weight loss and stuff, he told me to eat um, apples as a snack. Yeah. And Especially on one day a week, you would I only started, eat apples. No, he said, if you need it, uh, if you need to do it on a thing, then you can. You can eat only apples for like a day or something and then go back to eating your regular diet. Yeah. But stuff. tell him how many carbs, how many calories he had you on too, though. Yeah, he had me on 500. 500. But, and I was starving all the time. Yeah, but you lost the weight. I didn't lose the weight in the time he said either. Yes, we got a deal on that. But anyway. It took longer for me to lose the weight, even though I was. And doing you were that. very obedient, but you couldn't have done it without a cook for a husband. That's for sure. Boy, I'll tell you, this is just beautiful. I'm. I'm looking at a painting. I'm looking at a picture. Of a painting that comes in one of my books that uh, Joy picked up for me at a yard sale. And um, um, it's very inspiring because you get an idea of, you know, what somebody's thinking. And... Uh, you're looking at that boat? Yeah. Okay, let's show them what you're looking at, the inspiration. Actually, I wasn't going to show them, but... You think it's okay. important? This is his inspiration right here. I picked up this book at a yard sale. Or it was an estate sale, actually. Yes. Are you going to stay? Just, just sliding off here. Uh oh, Husky needs to come in. Right. If you'd be so kind to let her in. Now my, my my wood is wrong here, I can tell. My dock is is, is wrong. Come on. Um, I think it's supposed to be this direction. So let's so we're all looking at the dock now. And the dock is like looking like this slanted. Like if you walk down this dock, you would fall in the water because it's all crooked. So we're going to try to straighten that out. And I don't really know how to do that. So we're going to find out together what it is. Like, okay, so I'm thinking, all right, if I was looking at a dock, this corner would be out. Let's see, let's put a post in. Chad and Tina's Adventures. Hey! They said, love the inspiration painting. And that one was, like, had fog all around it. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's like fog, not fog, really, but... Yep. And Amanda so... I said, I saw your video. That was nice of Eddie. Okay, so from what I, what I see, I have to use my imagination and, and everything to try to come together with this. And I think the dock is supposed to go this way. And the point is out that way. And then it comes back like that. 
Okay, so we're going to see if that helps our dock level out. All right. So we're going to do brown and white. And we're going to lift up this corner right here and bring that up. And we're going to bring the corner of the dock like this and go up. Aha! Look at that. That's starting to do the job. I'm seeing it now. Kind of seeing it now. We wanna we wanna bring some more wood in now. Okay, that seems to have leveled the dock off a little bit. I think we need to do a top line right there. Right there. Okay. All right, once we do that, then we can kind of see that this has to come up that way. Did I do that right? All right, now that dock looks a little bit more level, and it's not going to dump you off to the left side. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit lighter brown. Right under that, right there. Uh oh how'd we get green in there? That's not good. Oh, well, it's got a little mold on it. There's a little, little mold on my dock now. Okay. Good, good, good. Somehow I got green in my gray. You got peanut butter in my chocolate. You got chocolate in my peanut butter. Ron said she's used to eating three times a day. Most people eat three times a day, but I... Um, I don't eat breakfast. I've been doing that for a while since I went to that weight loss doctor. And I started learning about intermittent, intermittent fasting. It's supposed to like reboot your body to um, skip a period of time without eating during the day. And so I do that instead of fasting multiple days, which I used to do a long time ago. But then I, I, I had one time where I, like, it was stressing my heart out. So I, um, Donnie said no more of that. So he, the intermittent fasting, uh, he lets me do. Because it's, you know, just for several hours. Um, it's actually overnight until, most of the time it's until 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. p.m. So overnight until 2 p.m. most of the time. Once in a while it's maybe 1 o'clock or something. Sometimes it's till 4 or 5. 3, 4, 5 o'clock even. Sometimes I don't eat until then. Oh, look at that. I've, I've extended my dock and forgot to extend my shadow. <laughs> Duh, that doesn't look right. Now, I noticed, just noticed that. I wondered if anybody else was like, hey, uh, did you happen to notice that the shadow didn't grow? No, I did not notice the shadow didn't grow. But I can tell that I need to adjust it a little anyway. Maybe we need to put the lake put some more lake right here there we go okay 
Now we're going to adjust our shadow out to match our new mm. all right what do you think of that what do you think of that And of course the shadow has to change with the grass, so I'm going to adjust that as well and uh, see if I can blend that a little better. I yeah. Said it looks great. Yeah, we're having fun here. All right. Ooh, look at that. Ryan says she heard that Ross has good paint. I don't think we've ever looked for paints at Ross, have you? No, I've been in there plenty of times. There's no paint there. I've never seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it. At least ours is Ross Dress for Less. Maybe she's talking about someplace else. Maybe, because she's up in Illinois, so maybe she... Yeah, maybe there's, maybe there's a Ross Paint for Less up there. <laughs> That'd be a good name for a, a place. Paint for Less. So we're going to put a little dot block right there, and then we're going to put a dot block right there. And take that down. Yeah. And I can tell that the tops of my ballards need a little bit of bird poop on them or something. Maybe a little bit of top of something to make it look like it's reflecting. <laughs> a little bit of bird poop. <laughs> yeah. And of course, there's always a little bit of agitation right at the surface of the water. You know, where it's touching the water so we got to put a little bit in there right there where it's touching the water not too bright not too bright oh my goodness look at that uh, Ted and Tina said your painting is starting to look like a spot we know of on the uh, Chiratuck Sound Chiratuck hmm. Sound wow that's probably in South Carolina. Do you know that, Donnie? Being in Coast Guard, have you heard of that? No, but um, I, I know a lot of sounds are on the East Coast. And um, I don't see the name of the author or the place of this painting that I am painting off of. Right there. It would be on that page. I think it would be that page. Step one, step two... It's a river boat. It's called River Bottom Country. Um, Skylight does not say where this painting was. Wouldn't that be interesting, though, if they said it was Cherry Talk Sound? We did huh? get your car, Rhonda. Thank you. Okay. And a little bird poop on the top. 
of the ballad. And whatever they want to call it. Okay, and then of course. <sighs> I'm going to pick up a little bit of the green and put it up over this ballard here. I'm kind of do that, and then I'm going to pick up the green and some black and see if I can't get this green to darken a little bit to where it looks like it's in a shadow. You basically take the same color and then you try to add the right amount of green and the right amount of black together to get a shadow green. Here, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Yeah. Because, you know, there'll be There'll be a little bit of something down in here. Let's go ahead and get some more green, some more white. And we'll just dot this in here a little bit. Yeah, because there's going to be a mixture of green and water. That's good. Let me go back and get my shadow green. See, I just made some shadow green, and it's already dry. And that's the that's the positive part of oil is that it's always ready to be used. And uh, not something I can deal with. So what we're going to do is we are going to let's see if we can make some little. I think I want to do yeah. I don't know what I want to do right here. It's like I want to do a little, a little flower, kind of a flower, kind of a thing right in here, along the shoreline. Just little flowers right there. That's very good. Now, it looks as though I could, I've made a mistake here, and, um, but you know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that stand and make the dock look broken. I'm gonna let that just go. Right here, the dock looks broken. I know y'all can't zoom in on that or anything, but um, I don't mind. Let me do that real quick. So that's kind of an error. If you can see where the dock is broken there, like it's perfectly straight and then right as soon as it reaches the greenery it looks like it drops down well that's where i haven't corrected it yet but you know what i think i'm gonna leave that like that because i can see green through there and i can put a little bit more brown right here some brown and some why i thought that was brown it's supposed to be brown and put some brown right there See, and then that green right there is like, oh, and look at this dark stripe right there. See, I'll take that dark stripe and let's make that a little more broken. We'll take a little bit, bit, little bit of black and let's put that right in there so that that looks really broken. Yeah, like that. I could even make that a little wider. My, my eye says I could make that a little wider where the dock has broken. Okay, and we're just going to splinter that off a little bit. I saw a splinter. Okay, and right there. Ah, good. Now that dock looks broken. Now I'm going to take, it looks like I took a little bit too much, so I'm just going to yeah, you just stay here, Rhonda. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, boy, that looks good. That looks really good. I wonder, I wonder what I'm missing. So 
So right here, now I don't have to do this part too much because I'm gonna build a, these are some uh, branches to a bush I'm going to cover and bring right into here. Um, but I need some earth. I needed some earth down in here. Some dirt. So we're putting some dirt down in here like that. And I think I'll even put some black in with that. Let's really darken that up so that when we bring in our branches, it'll be even cooler. Some black and some green. Okay, because that's going to... Oh, and we got to finish off our... This is like a, one of those beach kind of trees that you see that are, um, you know, all dead and scraggly and gray. And, uh, okay, now choosing the brush. We're going to renew some more green, and we're going to use a, a brighter green as well, but we're going to add white to it so that it uh, blends. Okay. I don't know, that might be too big. So, no, no, that's what I want. I want, I want mostly, I want mostly green, a little black, and then here we go. We're just gonna build, build a little shrub line here that's, on this side, there we go. Hi, Teresa. We're gonna go back and get some more green and black. And I really like this down here. I think that looks good. This is colors. So then we need a little bit more, a little bit more right here, right there. Good. And we'll just go ahead and dab some of that off. And uh, now we're going to hit the lighter green and the darker green, both at the same time. Light and dark green. And we're going to basically do that here at the top of our shrub and bring it down. Whew. Boy, that did not quite go. I know I need some more. I don't see it, I don't see it. There it is. That gives this bush a little bit different of a flavor and a look. Now it's dark underneath and then what we'll do there is we're going to go ahead and get something I'm going to use here in a minute. We're going to, we're going to thump the gold. Have a good rest, Jimmy. Thank you for joining well, thank us. Thank you, Jimmy. He's our highwayman. Rhonda said sometime I should try watching you on my ThinkPad and text you on my phone. We'd love to hear you. Love to hear you. Okay, so. Oh, dang. I didn't see that there. 
I'm sorry, it was black stick. I didn't notice it. All right, and then we're gonna put like some moss and some grass growing right there. There you go, that looks great. All right, a little of that right there. And then bring that up there like that. Okay, I think we've got that settled. Maybe we could put a little bit right there. Nope, I like it. Leave it alone. Cover yourself. Okay. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. And we're putting a few dark pieces over there so we can... Jimmy has to start work at 4.30, or, or maybe he has to get up at 4.30. Yeah. Because yeah. he's on road construction. That's what his job is. And uh, they have different hours that they, they start. Sometimes they work overnight. Yeah, they have day crews and night crews. Definitely. All right. I just said she's going to test out her um, think pad sometime. A think pad? I have not heard of a think pad. Now, this kind of bush right here is a little lost in the back bush area there. So I'm thinking I need to add something to kind of bring this bush up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what to do. So we're just gonna try a few things to see if that will. So we're gonna to touch some, some black and some yellow together. And we're gonna put a few more flowers on this bush to see if, oh, look at that. I think that did just what we needed. See, and then if I touch just the edge of my brush to the colors, and then I go right at the rim, right at the top of the bush, right where that bush stops, then you see by doing that, that makes the bush really stand out as far as where its dimensions are. And um, I think, ooh, I just it almost went for a roll. We're gonna we're gonna hit that one more time. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! And I'm not gonna use a fresh brush. I'm gonna use a older brush that's got a bunch of stuff on it. And then we're just gonna just touch that same that same little spot there, right there, just like that. And this defines our shrub. There we go. And how about if we put a little bit down here so that you know where the bottom of it is. All right. Now let's go ahead and give that a little wipe. And let's run that one right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that depth now. That looks very good. Oh, we could even take this a little bit and just tap that a little bit. Yep, we'll let a little bit of a little bit of a branch. Wow. Rhonda said that. her um, ThinkPad is kind of like a laptop. Yes. It's interesting. I haven't heard of a ThinkPad before. <sighs> okay. Now what? Well, I could almost stop right there. Honestly, I really could. I, I really enjoy this, but we need to do um, we need to do our long branches, and we need to do our skinny branches. And I 
I'm looking for my long skinny branch brush. Which of course, you know, now that I want it, it's, it's not big. I haven't used it in a while, so sometimes it gets down in the pile of brushes. That'll be my next thing is organizing my brushes now that I've got my paint more organized. And uh, as long as Joy doesn't turn the camera, she'll, you can all believe me when I say I've got my paint organized. <laughs> Just believe me. You're about to knock that big brush off. A couple there. Thank you. All right. Well, there is... It is not here. As often as I want it. And as often as it shows me itself and says, Here I am. This time I want it. And it is not right here. I never use it, so it should be right here. Hmm. We will have to make do. Or... I don't see my brand new pack of brushes I bought. I did buy a brand new pack of brushes. We don't need a new pack of brushes. We're all right. Okay, so we have done worried about that long enough. So now we are headed for our grays and whites. And Cat says hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to put one brush right through the weeds here, like that. And we're going to run one up this way. And that tree's got plenty of moss on it, so we're going to let that moss stay right there. And we're just going to trail off another, another branch. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, let's see, Gavin and Diana. Yeah, we're just bringing down a little bit of depth on this tree. We'll put a little bit of color under the branches a little bit. And put that right there. That's pretty good. Scotty wanted to know how many paintings you do a week. One. I do Sometimes one a week. he'll do more than one, but he does one. Especially if I get inspired. Uh, he does a, a live stream painting every Tuesday. And then sometimes he'll do an extra one. Like we did one for St. Patrick's Day. And we did and 12 we did for Christmas. And we did... And he did 12 paintings for Christmas that we we gave away. We called it the 12 days of Christmas, and we, and we gave them away. But those all had 
pretty much a Christmas motif, uh, genre to the paintings. They were winter paintings. They were like snow, snowmen, snow and snowmen and things like that. I, most of them were like that. I really enjoyed that too. That was very much fun. As long as it's fun, I'll do it. If it gets to be work, then I'm not so much into it. <laughs> That's just, I'm a sanguine. I'm an otter. I'll do anything if it's fun, even if it's a lot of work. Nice space, man. There we go. <laughs> My cat is crying. Did you put tape on her this morning? I did. I was thinking after she jumped over the gate, I thought, oh, I wonder if she's going to go in there and mess with it and, and wake her up. But She still had it on her, and I had pulled it off. A little piece of... A uh, little piece of uh, painter's tape. It's on her. Yeah, she was getting in my way while I was taping up a package. <laughs> It didn't seem like it was bothering her at all. And it wasn't really that sticky. She just didn't mess with it. Okay. Now, a lot of people use a straight edge and straight lines and things like that to get the job done when they're painting. And I have not been known to do that. A couple of times I have. And uh, so the um, I'm just kind of looking at my uh, at the idea of this boat, getting this boat right in here, and, um, you know, putting it, you know, is have a little gunnel, and it has this, and it has that, and, uh, we'll be looking down into it, the painting, I'm looking straight at the boat, but, uh, in this painting, we'll be kind of looking down at the boat, and um, I actually like this painting so much, I hate to mess, <laughs> I hate to mess with it and um, have something go wrong. Um, Find it's a job to practice on her think pad. So, well, we're going to come up with some boat colors here which of course will be white. And let's see, then I've got some brown. This is uh, raw umber, some white. I think I have raw umber already open. Um, yes, I do. I have raw umber already open. Oh, that was too much. Maroon brown. That's got a little red in it, obviously. 
We'll see if that's useful. Oh, what Mom else? Said when she finishes putting up her Easter decorations, she'll send me a picture of some of her Easter decorations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rhonda. And don't forget, anybody that's received a painting, we would love to see a picture of it. You don't even have to, you know, put a frame on it or anything. Just enjoy it. And, like where, like if you have a hanging on your And wall, especially if it's just seasonal. Or setting somewhere on a table or something. Mm-hmm. We love that. Jimmy sent us one that was very, very kind of him. He really put a lot of work into his. I was amazed. He really did. Yeah, Jimmy is an artist with crafting, building things out of wood. He made his own frame for the painting that Donnie gave him. Yeah. And in this painting that I've been staring at, the... Um, the horizon line is very, very minimal, like it's foggy. So that's why you don't see anything there. <sighs> very interesting. All right. Um... I'm going to dip my brush in half brown, half white. And I'm going to start, I, I was thinking about going over the dock, part of the dock, but maybe, maybe right there. And then we'll pull that brown out like that. Okay, and we'll bring the Andra says she's watching the Cubs game on TV. It's a practice game. Okay. So we're going to put in a little bit stronger of a gunnel here. And again, and again, up right there, all right, I don't think I can use this brush again really, yeah, that's it for that brush. So let me get my favorite brush out because we've got to put a we've got to put a gunnel on the other side where the sun is shining where the the lights are so let's get that going over here that's one thing nice about the sky being dry now I can always I can I can use my hand to rest against the sky. And of course, these boats always have a, um, like a little stick at the front, like that. Let's see. I may need my a substitute. Spaceman said he's just home from getting their sink and um, uh, faucet and he's going to get the countertop soon. Oh. 
Hi, Jam. Another Jim? Jam. Jam. Jim. Donnie's hard of hearing. He actually is diagnosed hard of hearing. Yeah. I get to... I'll get a little recompense for it. Not that I need it, but it's appreciated. It, it's just, sometimes I have to talk really loud in order to get him to hear me. Yep. And because we're using acrylic, we can't just wipe things on and hope for the best. You've got to kind of, you kind of have to dab acrylics on. Jam they, said it's going to look gorgeous when it's done. Mm hmm. And of course, I have never done this before. But I'm enjoying it as I go. Hmm. And we're gonna put a dark, some dark right there. Right there. Okay. I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens next, actually. <laughs> so we're going to finish our white right there. And we're going to finish the little bow piece right here. Too. Of this other camera. Don't lean that far. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was leaning too much. All right, so this is telling me I need to make this a little wider. Your head, your head. This one? Yes. <sighs> Literally, the woman wants me to try to paint left-handed <laughs> to make her yeah, camera she's happy. Not yeah, it's like here. <sighs> now, another thing I'm working on too is, is this. You have to have a waterline. You have to have a waterline color. And I am looking at um, something kind of brownish red. Something a little dingy. But yet, maybe it used to be red. It used to be red. Rhonda said but she's left-handed. I think I want that to be a little bit more red. Okay. All right, now, after you do that, you kind of, you get your water out. And you kind of get it wet and you wash it out a little. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna. I had a paper towel. Do you see it on the floor? No, but I'll get you one. I need one. Quick as possible without disturbing your cords. Thank you. Just one little one's all I need. Thank you. Oh, you know, 
what I see. I see. I didn't see that before. So. We're going to need. Oops, too much. I just saw the reflection of the boat in the water. Just saw it. And um, I wasn't thinking about that until I just saw it. So what we've got to do here is we've got to do this. Okay, because that is the reflection of the boat in the water. And I think we can, you can even fade that together too with a little bit of a paper towel. All right. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And, ooh, look at this. Now this already did this by itself. I did not try to do that, but I can see right here, we need to extend this little piece right here. That See how this shadow extending underneath here is, is talking the reflection of the boat and the red. Rhonda wanted to know if you can paint a picture of Elvis Presley, John Wayne, or anyone else. He's never tried people, except for the gnomes. <laughs> yeah, but I only, I only talk like them. Um, I don't paint them. I talk <laughs> like them. Um. That's right, Mr. Pilgrim. We'll be glad to talk like them, but we aren't going to. And we'll walk like them, but we're not going to look like them. Oh, I like, like, like. Like, like, like. Did I throw that that far away? Ooh. And Donnie's never had any paint lesson, lessons. Right. And, you, and, you, and I suppose if I bought a book on portraits, I could do something like that. You That's know, like but it's like different. anything else. I don't, I don't ever think I can do it. And then when I try, whew, I did it. You know. My wife got me in the habit of trying stuff I can't do. So now it doesn't bother me when I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I can't do this. But, you know, that never stopped me so far. <laughs> Thank goodness for her. All I just right. kept telling you, you can do it. You, you can, can do you it. You can do Bob Ross. You can do it. Lad. You could do it. All right. And then you see how this is really dark, so that means I've got to make this shadow here a little darker. And I think that, I don't know how, how would that look in the reflection? It would be this, this way, right? Would it be like that? That piece right there has to be there. So that piece is there. That I know. Okay. I think I got it. We'll just see if that piece is right there and that piece is going to be shooting off like that. So then that would be like that, right? No. Okay, so that would be there. But 
then that means that is like that. Okay. Did I do it? Yeah, I think I did it. All right, let's dab that a little. See what happens. Okay. That kind of gives us a... All right. Huh. So far, so good. Now, if I need, I need to recreate my gray. Thanks, Rhonda. She said she sent out the live stream to someone she knows well. Yeah, Rhonda's been promoting us. Appreciate Her it, and, and, and Huggy and a couple other people have been so sweet. So sweet. Shared us, shared, shared us out a lot, too. Mm -hmm. That's why she got that name. That's how she got that name, I'll bet. She's a share. Okay, where's the gray? You had the gray. You had a couple types of gray. Permanent black. <laughs> well, that's the dark blue gray. I think that went, no, that was over there. Well, that's all right. Blue, gray, white. And now we're recreating some of the watercolor so that we can, uh, we need to push up into the. Um... She also sent it to her brother, Ron. Thank you, Rhonda. Bo, 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 bo. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you, Rhonda. Oh, that hurts. Granite. It was a pebble, but I took it for granite. Yeah, that's the one. So now, see, we've got to kind of, we've got to bring in our water now to our shadow. Bring in a little bit of the shadow of the boat. And then tell that's not working. That's not the right brush. Where's my favorite brush? There's my favorite brush. Okay, now we've got enough gray already, so we're just going to come in here with the, the white, and I believe we need to come right up in here like this. And around like that. And then we're gonna bring in some some waves, some, not waves, waves, but like you know, the kind that would lap up against the lap up against the shore. Yay, Rhonda! She said she sent it out to four people. Thank you, Rhonda. Wow, that's a record. Hi, Maritza. I think I've still got too much 
red in the picture here. And I think this needs to go like that. There we go. All right. See, the inspiration when you were looking at it is actually like sitting on the bank. And you know, it's beat up and old and stuff, yeah. yeah. And this and one I'm, you have sitting in the water. I've got it in it's the water. Different. Well, it's only run up a ground on the front. But it's a lot different than what I'm painting. Right. It's just your inspiration. <clears throat> yeah, it's just my inspiration. You're my inspiration. It was the clouds that kind of got to me. The cloudy, foggy look. The fact that there was no horizon. And the way they made the boat fade into the the um into the water hi bear hug so i'm kind of trying to fix this a little bit yeah that helps a little when you love somebody to the end of time okay I'm definitely no good at that, but I'm having fun. So let's give it a, we're gonna give it a little uh, mast here. Somebody. Got to get that song out of my head. Rhonda said she shared it out to five people. You're so sweet, Rhonda. You're so sweet. You know, those, those people could end up sharing it out, too. It's very important to do sharing. I'm glad it's something you want to share, and you wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> Hi, Berdazzle. You wouldn't be embarrassed and say, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> and take a little bit of black, get some shading right in here. Oh, I'm in the way again. I'm in the way of my own painting. Said, great job, Donnie. This is a, a, a new painting for Donnie. He's never done uh, this particular nope. kind of scene before. Never done anything like this before. And of course, I wish I'd have just stuck with the dock. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to venture out a little. I know, but I didn't. Uh. 
Hey, how about if I, uh, how about if I put uh, an ore? Yeah. Oh, that was very good. Then I'll put another one right there. Going off the other side, excellent. All right, I was thinking, oops, that's wrong. Okay, I should have fixed the um, side of the boat first. I was kind of wanting to put a little bit more white right here. Give it a little bit more. I should have done that before I put that ore in there. Or not. Or so. More fish. And we'll dirty it up a little bit. And we'll run that up there a little bit. You know, I think about people that are having to submit to somebody else and do somebody else's will just to make a living and to do their job and all that, and they never really get a chance to explore their own talents or desires. And I feel sorry for them that, you know... Bearhug said it's a beautiful... Move your head. Oh. It makes the painting a lot of focus. When your head is out there like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm looking for that lucky combination of stroke and color that gives me the depth that I'm looking for. You know, I need to come up here and do that. And I need to come down the gunnel A really bright really bright <laughs> space man uh, oh, what did he say this time uh, I stood on my head and did a head spin and still can't figure it out Baseman's happy because they have a lot more UFO sightings now. He knew it all along. And when he disappears, we know they took him first. When you're on a when you're on a vertical live stream and you want to get to a horizontal live stream, you what you do is you go over to the um, the channel and you just click on the uh, horizontal live stream from there. Because we do, um, we've been testing out, YouTube suggested that we test out a vertical live stream as well. But most of our viewers like the horizontal because they watch on TV. So we've been doing a little of both at the same time. So you can just go over to Donnie's channel 
if you see a vertical and just see if there's a, 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 a horizontal there because if you prefer that then you can watch that and stuff same thing with my channel um, we're trying to um, you know do the thing that YouTube is suggesting to us but we don't want to leave our, our horizontal TV viewers left out so we've been trying it a couple ways <laughs> okay. So we're still trying to figure out I'm trying to make a shadow, but it's not looking like a shadow. <laughs> Cher said, oh, I made it. Yeah, she was over. She was over there. <laughs> Spaceman made it, too. Yeah, we're testing out a new thing that YouTube is um, suggesting. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, I thought you were just doing a time lapse. You're doing it. No, we'll do the time lapse from that app. Mm hmm. Yep. Squeaky. Ooh, that came out much better. Ooh. I like that one. Hmm. So if we put a little bit of highlight, put a little highlight right on our, on our um, sail here to help show it against the sky. There it is. And then we put a little bit of a mast right here at the bottom of, well i don't know yeah okay that's good that looks like a beat up old stale sail doesn't it all right Whew. hmm i'm kind of trying to put a bench a little bench in here inside the boat right there and right there by the oars it's good and maybe a a little box or bench right there in the front all right Good, and as you can see, I did succeed with the shadow a little bit there, so I'm real happy with that. And this shadow is good, and this dock is good. If anything, maybe 
this dock could be a little bit more beat up. Maybe we should just kind of take another board out right there. And that board's already gone. Let's take another board out right here. Rona said she sent it out to her aunt and another friend also. Thank well, you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. She's really been sharing Donnie out tonight. Appreciate that. It's hard for me to, you know, we don't advertise or anything. A little darker, a little darker. Yep, that's it right there. Then a touch of brown. Touch of brown. And then back to the gray, touch of gray. There, we got a good, good broken dock right there. Nice broken dock. The vertical um, live stream and the vertical, what do you call it, shorts videos are YouTube's um, way of doing what TikTok does for people and, you know, so the Congress already voted, they're trying to ban, <laughs> trying to ban that other platform, you know, so. Hmm. Spaceman said that Wisconsin might have a um, a partial solar eclipse on April the eighth, going. You know, oh yeah, just not not the whole full thing. Only the full one is what they're talking about. Yeah. Did you know that 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 X marks the spot is also over Rapture, Indiana? Isn't that freaky? That, because I personally have seen in calendars that this is a big year, that this is a possible year of the Rapture. You know, you can't tell the day or the hour, but that doesn't mean you can't tell the year. You're not allowed, I mean, it says in the Bible, you can know the season. And boy, if there was a season that we could know, my goodness, I think we could know this season. Yeah, I don't think this is the year, but, you know, I mean, only God knows. Only God knows. Not even Jesus, because he knows when the last soul is in. Only the Father knows. Only Actually, the Father knows. That's what the Bible says. Only Father Only God the knows. Father Not knows. even Jesus. Jesus. Not even Jesus. And the Holy Spirit don't know, because the Father God, the Bible says, is the one that says, it's it. Well, he's it's the it. one that blows the trumpet. Yep. He's the one that blows the trumpet. Says, that's how you know it's different from the end times because the end times, that's the feast of trumpets. Many trumpets blow, but the rapture of the church, there's only one trumpet. 
And that's the trump of God. So what I did was I built a uh, built a um, a canvas in the water. And after I built the canvas in the water, I thought that doesn't look good. But then as soon as I put a wave across, and I put a little bit of distortion in the painting right there, then all of a sudden it made all kinds of sense. Look at that. You can see, you can see the shadow right in the water. Is that cool or what? Man, that's cool. Bear hug said, Donnie, this painting is so beautiful. One of my favorites so far. Mm-hmm. Ah, wow. Look at that. Whew. Boy, I don't know if I can do anything else or not. I, maybe I just sort to leave this thing alone. I keep wanting to make that boat look a little bit more realistic, though. It's not quite satisfying me as far as my brain's going, oh yeah, that's a boat. Oh yeah, I got that. I can see that. And uh, boats have made boats are made of wood, you know. Boats have little slats in them, and uh, and I'd like to put. Uh, Eric said it looks real, like we could just get inside. Mm-hmm. And it's sitting still. It doesn't have a bow wake or anything. You know, you can't. You just kind of have to put little little things on here like that to make it look like water. Mm -hmm. And uh, whew. it's kind of contrasty too. It's not really sharp lines. You know, it's got a little bit of that whatever you call that word is for being artistic when actually it means I'm just not that talented but I will call it artistic <laughs> wow Spaceman said Illinois will from what he's read will experience a lot of the eclipse in the southern part of the state mm -hmm. yep I heard that is Chicago in the southern part of the state nope very northern right up on the lakes Chicago's got nothing. <sighs> I think I want a little bit less red right there. And a little less red right there. Okay, that helped a little. Bear hug said, you are extremely talented. Donnie, I wish I had a... Can't wait a for fraction. my bear hug. And I'm waiting for my bear hug, too. She said she wished she had a, a fraction, at least a fraction of your talent. <laughs> well, you've got Andy's the same fraction that I started with. You Andy's just have to multiply it. And he's a chef, and he's a baker. And a painter, and a chef, and a baker, and a front door, and a door doctor. I fix doors. A front door rescuer. A front door rescuer. Doing one right now, too. Donnie, Mrs. Spaceman said she likes that painting. Oh, thank you. Yep. I think I want to... This is just too strong over here. I want to think I'm going to put some whitewash on that. On what? On the bush, the bush right here. It's like not quite. It's a little bit too strong. It needs a little something. It needs a little something. Even if it's just some 
just some water and some white maybe. I'm gonna rub it in. Let's see what happens. Just kind of. You're putting a lot on there. No, it, it um it dries out. Most of that will disappear. Most of that will disappear. Fair hug said she thinks it looks beautiful the way it is. <laughs> yep. Yep. He's trying to lighten it a little bit because his painting is in the fog. Yeah, hazy. You've yeah. got hazy, hazy sky, hazy, hazy, and and then all of a sudden you've got this bush. No. Like this whole area really isn't, you know, what I want it to be. But it is what it is. If you did a light, a very light, because you're putting too much white on there, but if you put it just a little light, it could make it a little hazier. You know what I mean? Like a fog. Mm -hmm. Like a watery white is what I mean. Very watery white. Yeah, and what you see the... You put it on a little, you, you take like one drop of white and 10 drops of water. Fairhug said, oh, it looks wonderful. Great eye, Donnie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're working on it. we go finish that tree off You know what's nice is when you fall even more in love with someone that you've been around your whole life and they do something that just makes you glow and say, oh, I just love you even more now. And honestly, that's what God is all about. God is all about how much he loves us, how much he wants to dwell in us and share his power, his love, his life with us. And... Uh, and, and be a part of him. You know, I, I do a teaching on how much we look like our parents. That's exactly what God thinks. You know, he wants us to look like him. Or is, you know, he's my dad. He's my dad. Whew. See, that looks a little bit whitewashed now. So that looks a little better. And uh, I don't think we can do much else. I think we're going to wrap this up before I do something silly. I did one painting one time and didn't like the sky. And I couldn't get the new sky to join with the old earth. It was not a good thing. There, that helped a little bit. I've got a lot of paint left on my board. Basement said the eclipse is a neat experience. There's a certain uh, phenomenon that happens under trees during the eclipse. Well, this eclipse is supposed to be like ones from hundreds of years ago with other earthquakes and signs. And they said the last time it came through. It went through like how many count? How many cities called Salem? And uh, this time it's going through other cities in a place called Rapture, Indiana. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. <laughs> that tells me something. It's not. You know, that tells me something. Jack of all trades, Ralph. Yep. I even can sing bluegrass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Well, Kentucky, where he place makes up his own songs. where I belong. Ah. Okay. A place where he I wonder. Let's see. Bear Hook said, have you um have you all heard of the song by Alan Jackson? Jackson, um, when God paints. When God paints. I don't think we've heard that song. Hmm. I like it. We'll have to go find it and play it. Listen to it. Nope, that color's no good. All right. Well, I have signed it. I am done. For those of you that hung out all this time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Air hug said that song made her think of you, Daddy. Oh, wow. I've had a couple of people give me some really good compliments this week that just kind of shocked me. You know, I, I really didn't grow up with anybody giving me any compliments at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was not well complimented as a child. He felt deprived. And so I've been a... Pre I've been his cheerleader, but... You have been, yeah. But also... The, the words of affirmation thing goes both ways because I can be like, and he's the same way. He's words of affirmation too because we can, mm -hmm. someone that words of affirmation, we they do can say, they can say things, but then they can also give you constructive criticism too, which you don't always want to hear. <laughs> Space Run said, y'all have a blessed night. Okay, you get Thank ready you. to say, sign off. You done? Or? Yep, I'm all done. I have done, did it. Signed it, sealed it, delivered it. I'm just kind of playing a little bit while I'm wanting to see if there's anything else I could do that would help it. Thank you. So, thank you. For joining us. For joining us. Now remember, we love you, but Jesus can love you even more. And so, good night, good night, good night. We love you, love you, love you. Do you want to end the two live session? Wait a minute, did you hit say? Keep. Hit keep, right? Yeah.